Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we'll be discussing certain details about profit or loss concept on sale or disposal of any part of the asset. So when we discuss about profit or loss on sale of any part of the asset, we understand that the profit or loss is calculated on the basis of the return down value of that specific asset while the date of the transaction occurs. So if in case you have purchased any asset in 2010 and if you are selling out in 2016, you need to figure out that what is the basic market value of that asset as of 2016 when the sale date is there. So how do you calculate that? is on the basis of the written down value. Now written down value is the original cost of the asset minus total depreciation that has been done until the date of sale. Now whatever value you have, if you sell it on a value above that, that means there is profit. If you sell it on a value less than that, that means there is loss. So accordingly you have to discuss or further detailed in or the details or the factors of how the amount has been derived and whether there is a profit or loss as compared to the sale price of the written down value. So written down value that means original cost minus the total depreciation as per the date of the sale or from 2010 to 2016 in this example will give you the written down value. That return down value has to be compared with the sale price. If the return down value is on the higher side, that means, and if the sale is value on the lower side, there is a loss. If the return down value is on the lower side and the sale price is on the higher side, that means there is a profit. So this way you have to incorporate the profit or loss in this situation. Now, what other details you need to understand in this is that either there might be a part sale or a complete sale. So whenever there is a part sale or a complete sale, you need to understand how many machines you are dealing with all together while in one specific year the depreciation is supposed to be provided. So in certain cases where there is a part sale of an asset or where there is a complete sale of an asset, you need to understand that in complete sale of asset, you don't have to worry about any depreciation being taken care of or not. However, when there is a part sale of an asset, so whatever asset which hasn't been sold out, you have to provide depreciation on that asset as well for this current year or for any specific year where the unit has been sold out. And the amount which has been already or rather the part which has been already sold out, you don't have to worry about that because the depreciation will be calculated on the basis of on what date it has been sold out. So the tenure is important, the part which is sold out is important and the return down value as compared to the selling price is important. So these are the details that you need to understand about whenever you are trying to solve these kind of problems. So I hope this video gave you a lot of clarity about what details you have to understand and moving forward we will be having more details on what further specifications or the basis of illustration you will be able to understand or gauge how to solve these kinds of problems. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.